What's up, everybody? Today I'm Chad, your host, and we're taking a look at the 2017 MX5 RF. As you can see, we got some beautiful still shots and we got some nice video coming for you today on this video. So stay tuned for the next few minutes. Also, congratulations to my boy Chris that came out with us that day to shoot. He got to take home his first new Mazda that Saturday night after doing this right here. So that's just all it takes. A little fun driving these cars, taking a test drive. Next thing you know, you're signing paperwork and you're taking one home. All right, so our location took us just to the outskirts of downtown Charleston, right next to this cool skate park called Skate Charleston that just opened up like two or three months ago. Look at all the guys and kids out there having a good time skating on a beautiful Saturday. What a nice spot to be. So anyways, the skateboarding's going on, but it's all about the cars for us. I mean, check out the MX-5. What a beautiful color. I mean, the exhaust sounded great. Again, like I said earlier, it was very windy out here this day, which kind of affected the audio quality, but we got some nice looking shots. All right, what's up everybody? So we made it to our location right here in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Skate Charleston Skate Park is literally just right behind us. This is kind of a remote spot. They call this road the road to nowhere, as you can see. It pretty much ends right at the end there at a gravel lot, or I don't know, just gravel in general. And you definitely wouldn't want to drive two beautiful cars like we have here today. The 2017 MX-5 RF. And what's special about this car, Chris? Well, it's equipped with the, it has aero kit all the way around with the BBS rims and the Brembo packaging. That's nice. So Brembo, what will Brembo brakes do for your car? Yeah. It's it's a. <laughs> we're gonna keep rolling. Hold on, hold on. Brembo brakes though, it's gonna do like uh, well, bigger bigger brake caliber, basically for more stopping power. I'm not sure if these are four piston or two piston, but they look pretty big. I'm assuming I don't know. We'll look it up and put it in the uh, description there for you. But uh, it is really windy. But uh, most Brembo's on the Subaru STI's, stuff like that, they come with four pistons, so I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, someone said at the dealership earlier, two piston. We can Google Who knows? It. We'll Google it though and we'll find out for you. Um, Chris is actually gonna do that real quickly while we're, uh, while we're here. Um, also, again, what a beautiful vehicle today to test drive on a gorgeous day here in Charleston, South Carolina. Today's May 6th, 2017. So uh, you're in for a treat. We're gonna put some great shots we did on this road out here today of the cars cruising. Um, I'm pretty sure they're four piston, but we're gonna find out here in just a second. Now Chris wanted to check out the retractable hard top on the RF Miata. Supposedly you can go under six mile per hour and the top can be put up or back down, which to me is perfect. I mean, if you're sitting there at a stoplight and you're getting ready to get some rain on you and you're cruising, get that top up and get back on the road. Chris possibly may be a Mazda owner today. <laughs> it's possible. The uh, general manager of the store is pressuring him a little bit, but Chris uh, drives now a, uh, he has a, a GTI Volkswagen Golf, which is super fun. Those are great little cars. But uh, Chris used to work over at the Volkswagen store, now over at the Mazda dealership. And I think Chris is definitely liking the Mazda brand a lot more than Volkswagen right now. And uh, he, he's torn between either this car over here, the Mazda CX-5 2017, or the Mazda Miata, or MX-5 as we would say. So that's a tough choice, you know. Uh, in my case, with kids and everything else, I'd probably have the CX-5. But Chris, I think, Chris, you got one child, and she's grown. she's grown, she's not a baby anymore. So he could pretty much get whatever one he wants. As long as the wife's okay with that. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, good looking car. So you saw just a minute ago, you got the Yeti cup over there. I love that, that handle thing on there. That's really cool. And you saw it was a tight squeeze in the back with the uh, the 20 Yeti 20 cooler. It did get in and he did get it out, but it is a tight squeeze. And as y'all know, there's not a ton of room in the back of the MX-5 for storage. So, I mean, you're talking, you know, if you want to put some big golf bags or something like that, I don't know how, how you're going to be able to do that one. But either way, I mean, again, this is a roadster. This is what it's built to do is get in, have a fun time, and cruise around the city. So uh, one feature I noticed that the MX-5 RF doesn't have that I wish it did have was a backup camera. Uh, we're not sure why it doesn't have a backup camera, but they don't have one. 
I personally think Mazda probably could have integrated it somewhere back here, but um, everything is so smooth on the rear of the MX-5, and maybe they just didn't want to throw a bulky camera back there. Also, you know, the car's so low to the ground, the camera would, if it was right here, it, it'd be right on the ground, which is not going to be helpful. So, I mean, I thought they could have thickened up that spoiler, this deck lid spoiler back here, and put a little camera right there, which would have been fine. And who knows, Mazda may add that feature for 2018.